The playoff picture is not quite as clear as the air in the arena tonight. Canada has to win this game by a minimum of three goals to grab a semifinal spot. There are other possibilities tonight based on what happens between Finland and Slovakia, but the task for Canada, very simple, must win by three. Five is the margin that would give Canada a tough spot in the group. But the Swiss have been tough here. They opened with a 6 3 over the Slovaks and an impressive 3-1 win over the Finns. They've allowed just four goals in two games so far. Ustinkov goes back. Now the side of the goal. Played back across. Great chance in front of the score. Roger McQueen gets Canada on the board. On the rebound chance in front. Just a real solid play by the trio of Baudouin, McQueen, and Ryder. And, and they applied pressure. Swiss has the puck below the goal line, and they're trying to uh, execute and get out of trouble, but Ustakov gets shut off first by McQueen, and then Baudouin is right there next on the puck. And as the puck comes right back into the crease, it gets kicked right over, and McQueen coming right back to the net makes no mistake. And a really good, strong play by Baudouin being next on that puck off the turnover and then bringing it right to the net. one nothing Canada. And a late chance now for Canada. Ryder Ritchie walks right and feeds it back in front. They score! Ritchie to Baudouin, and Canada's grabbed a 2 nothing lead with 11 seconds to go. I've, I've said Charlie Ellick's name a number of times this first period. That all starts with Charlie Ellick in the defensive zone, and now with... Less than 15 seconds left in the period. They get moving, and Ryder Ritchie attacking, and now as he comes across, he opens it up. Baudouin with a stick right down on the ice, just pushes it inside the post. But without the real good, strong defensive play by Charlie Ellick, this doesn't happen. He has been tremendous, Charlie Ellick, in this game in the first period. And this line of McQueen, Baudouin, and Ryder have been excellent as well. Here's Alec with it. Cross he goes to Morelli. Head to Wetch. Looks for Misa. Michael Misa. Great pass there for Kenton. In shoot scores. Berkeley Kenton puts it past Kirsch and Kenton has got the third goal it needs for a 3 0 lead. That's a speed goal. Quick transition up the ice, and as Mesa delivers the puck to Catton down the wing, Kirsch never finds his ankle. He's not sure of where he's at in the net. It's all because of the speed. You can see where he is, kind of centered on that far on the close post, and Catton beats him. But that's because speed generated puts players, and in this case Kirsch, into a vulnerable position. Berkeley Catton takes full advantage. Berkeley Catton in for Misa. Just a change in against Catton some time. Watch right in. Fire scores! There's your five. Berkeley Catton strikes again, and Canada's got a 5 nothing lead. Captain put them up three nothing, which put them in the right position in terms of having to win by three. Now he puts them up by five, which puts them in perfect position to finish first in this pool. I mean, again, Canada catches Switzerland in a line change. They wore them down in the offensive zone. Swiss tries to get a change. They can't. Canada transitions, and Malcolm Spence approves. Perfect Catton with his fifth goal of the tournament. His time winds down here in the third. The Swiss will pin their thin hopes on the host Slovaks tonight. As Canada clinches first place in the group with a decisive 5 0 win over Switzerland. And Carter George with a shutout in the Canadian goal.